Hydrogen is used in the form of a reactant in nuclear bombs. Just imagine if we use this power as a source of clean energy. The possibilities are endless. As humans, we tend to miss things that lie in place side. We go to great extents to find solutions to the greatest problems. Today, now we may probably have a solution to one of the biggest problems that we face in today's day. Today, I, Avi Dubey, would like to tell everyone present here how the most smallest and abundant element in the entire universe is the solution to our biggest problem, finding clean energy. To give you a brief, clean energy is energy that leaves behind no carbon footprint and no pollutants in our atmosphere when used. No carbon footprint and no pollutants. Can you believe that? There are three things that we must take into account when talking about hydrogen power. Production, consumption and storage. Now, production, consumption and storage is something that most people practice in their daily lives unknowingly. Production, for instance, for instance is done in the form of cooking food, storing the leftovers and then consuming it the next day. Now, before we go in depth on the production, storage and consumption of hydrogen, everyone present here already knows about the electric vehicles that have been launched by Tata, Mahindra and multiple big car manufacturers. All of these vehicles use lithium-ion batteries. Now, you must be wondering, if there already is a solution to this problem, then why rely on hydrogen power? Well, lithium-ion batteries use metals such as nickel, manganese and cobalt. And these metals are extremely toxic and can contaminate water supply if they reach out of landfills. Additionally, wires in landfills or battery recycling facilities have been attributed to inappropriate disposal of lithium-ion batteries. Clearly, they are not the solution. So, why not use the alternatives, sodium-ion batteries? Well, sodium-ion batteries have a lower energy capacity and take a lot longer to charge compared to lithium-ion batteries, making them less efficient. Now, let's remind of the three necessary things that must be taken into consideration when talking about hydrogen power, production, consumption and storage. We talk about this fuel as an alternative to today's coal, petrol and diesel. Production. Hydrogen can be produced using fossil fuels, water, nuclear energy and other renewable energy sources such as biomass, wind, solar, geothermal and a wide array of processes. Some of the production processes include thermochemical, where we use thermal energy and chemical reactions to produce hydrogen from organic materials such as biomass and fossil fuels. Then comes electrolysis, where water is broken down into oxygen and hydrogen using electricity. Now, this electricity can be sourced from renewable energy sources such as wind or solar power, making this process net zero. Now, net zero is when greenhouse gas emissions are cut to as close as zero, with any re remaining emissions reabsorbed from the atmosphere by either oceans and forests, for instance. And lastly, we talk about a company, a multinational company named Saudi Aramco, which has come up with a new way of capturing carbon dioxide emissions released from industrial activities and then using this carbon dioxide to react with the natural gas, methane in the air, and produce hydrogen. Now we come down to consumption. Thankfully, consumption has never been a problem for us because we already have existing technology that uses hydrogen as a fuel to produce electricity. And that is called the hydrogen-oxygen fuel cells. The hydrogen oxygen fuel cells react hydrogen and oxygen together to form water and during this reaction a lot of energy is produced this energy can then be converted to electricity to be used for various purposes unfortunately when it comes to cars we have movies like the fast and furious which portrays the classic petrol head who loves the loud engine exhaust and the classic stick shift now these people would not appreciate the electric motor present in hydrogen oxygen fuel cell cars Thankfully, Toyota has begun developing its own hydrogen internal combustion engine uh, in a V8 format. Now, V8 is a format in which pistons are laid in the engine to optimize space in the engine bay. Now, this engine will be much more efficient and powerful compared to petrol engines because hydrogen is a very energy dense element. This engine will also be capable of producing the same amount of noise and will be available in a 6 speed or 7 speed manual transmission format. So both worlds of crazy car enthusiasts and energy scientists are satisfied. Lastly, we talk about the process which is the most difficult to carry out amongst the three, storage. Fortunately, both cons consumption and production of hydrogen have been sorted, but now comes the hard part, storing and transporting hydrogen throughout the world. Fuels are usually stored in liquid state, and to liquefy hydrogen gas, we require temperatures that go as low as minus 253 degrees Celsius. 
Now, this temperature is really difficult to sustain for longer durations and takes up a lot of energy. And if you decide to store hydrogen in a gaseous state, then you would require containers that would have to withstand, withstand pressures of up to 680 atmospheres. Now, let's reverse to Aramco, the company which developed a new way of capturing carbon dioxide emissions and converting it to hydrogen. Now, Aramco states that we can convert hydrogen to ammonia. Now, ammonia is a compound which is already traded globally because ammonia is far more practical, convenient and cost effective when compared to hydrogen because it doesn't need very low or very high temperatures and pressures to be transported. And after transportation, ammonia can then be converted back to hydrogen to be used as a fuel. Well, there it is. Hydrogen used in a beneficial way. This fuel carries a lot of potential and hopefully comes into use as soon as possible, getting rid of the harmful and scarce fossil fuels that we use in today's day. And before I end, I would like to tell everyone over here something, that the suit that I'm currently wearing has been made, has been manufactured in a plant which is, which is run on hydrogen power. Can you believe that? Well, you shouldn't because that's not true. Thank you.